Hi, this is Laura Nangle today I'm with Paris Burrell. Hi! <laughs> so you were born in Wisconsin? Yes, Milwaukee. Yeah, are your parents born there as well? No, my mom was born in the Philippines, but my dad was born in Wisconsin. Oh, so. and then they met here? They met in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. She ended up there somehow. <laughs> <laughs> what are their personalities like? Um, oh, I've never been asked that before. My mom is very like mama bear. She likes to control things sometimes. She's stubborn like me. That's where I get it from. <laughs> no. Um, but no, she really cares about her family and she takes care of all of us. And my dad, he's very like to himself. Like he's kind of quiet, but once you actually talk to him, he'll like just talk for hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, they're both cool. Yeah. <laughs> what do they do? Uh, my dad is a computer IT for cancer research, and my mom is a photographer. Oh. Yeah. Do you have anyone else in your family who does, like, acting, or where do you think you got that passion from? Um, no, I was the first one to be an actor and to be on TV in my family. Um, my sisters kind of do it, but not really, so mm -hmm. I think I'm kind of the only one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Growing up in Wisconsin, did you ever have like identity issues being mixed? Because I'm also mixed. My mom's like Chinese and my dad's like American. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, my dad's American too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, Like no. fitting in or like having questions with your like identity. No, I didn't. I mean, I think the part of fitting in, I just had issues fitting in because I modeled and I acted and um, so it was more of like a jealousy thing from kids. That's why I didn't really fit in. Mm -hmm. But as far as like culture and like who I am, I, I didn't know I didn't really have mm -hmm. any problems yeah. with that. Yeah. Do you still have a strong like Filipino like culture, like upbringing or? Yeah, kind of. Um, definitely have like the same, you know, morals and beliefs. Um, but we're not, we're not too Filipino. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do you describe yourself back then growing up? I was a lot more organized and a lot more focused, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, no, I just, I, I don't know. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm completely different now. I, I mean, I lived in Wisconsin. I was a gymnast. Um, I was a completely different person than I am now. I live in California and I act, so mm -hmm. it's just two different worlds. Yeah. Did your, so your parents put you in the classes or did you like request it initially? Well, I started modeling and then I got curious about acting. So my mom, she took me to a few classes and, um, and then my agent back in Chicago was like, well, if you really want to do this, you got to go to LA and you got to try pilot season. Mm -hmm. So my mom took me out here to try pilot season and that, that's when I booked my yeah. first show. So yeah, it all happened very fast. It was like winning a lottery. Um, <laughs> yeah. How about for gymnastics? Like, did you request those classes initially? Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I actually started off as palms. It's kind of like a, like a dance group, but, um, the gym that I was at was also a gymnastics gym, and I would watch all the girls, and I was like, oh, I want to flip like that, I want to do that. So mm -hmm. I was like, Mom, I want to do gymnastics. So she put me in gymnastics. Yeah. yeah. Did but everything I've done is pretty much because I wanted to. Like, mm -hmm. I asked to do it. And did it all come naturally to you? Like, if gymnastics was just a, easy for you to like do all the flips and everything? Um, I mean, maybe, I wouldn't say it was easy, mm -hmm. but um, there was definitely, there's always something in somebody, like, when they start it, you're like, oh, wow, they're actually really good at that, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I guess gymnastics was one of them for me. Yeah. Like my sister, she's really good at gymnastics. What was it like being an older sister? Did you take care of, like, all your younger Yep, sisters? I changed all of their diapers. <laughs> yep. Um, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Uh, it definitely have more responsibility when you're the mm -hmm. oldest sibling. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it. I, I wouldn't want to be a younger sibling, so I don't like being a <laughs> sibling. Did you like school growing up? I actually did. I hated you did pretty homeschooling. Well. What? You did pretty well in school, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I had to. My mom's Filipino, so like, <laughs> yeah, I had side. to get an A, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, yeah, no, I liked going to school. I actually enjoyed it. So when I came out here and started working and I started doing homeschool, it, I, it, it sucked. Because mm -hmm. I actually liked being in a classroom and I liked being around everybody. What were your favorite subjects? Uh, English and world cultures. Oh, mm -hmm. where do you get your interests of world cultures from? I don't know. Um, I hated learning about like American history, but mm -hmm. I loved learning about everyone else's for some <laughs> reason. I don't yeah. know. And maybe it's just because like I live here and I, I, I like learning about other people and how they live and how they 
got brought up. Was it difficult convincing your parents to like when you wanted to do acting? Like moving out here was a difficult transition? No. <laughs> They're, they've been pretty supportive all throughout my life. Like. They always support me in everything I do, whether it's acting or gymnastics. They went to every gymnastics meet. They took me to every audition. They took me to every job. Um, so, no, I mean, it was definitely like, difficult, like, emotionally. Mm. But um, my dad ended up getting a job transfer. My mom, she has her own photography business, so she can go anywhere. Was it difficult going from, like, going to school and then, like, homeschooling and sort of Yeah, that was hard because I just wanted to cheat the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was definitely hard for me. Um, and I wish, like, I was able to go and do college and do, like, college gymnastics and stuff. Oh. Um, because that was what I, that was my dream, is to do college gymnastics at UCLA. Oh. Um, can't do that anymore. Yeah. But, <laughs> uh, but it, I, it didn't end up badly. Like, I got, I ended up getting a job on Disney, so mm -hmm. it's not really a bad outcome, yeah. you know? <laughs> what have you learned over the years, um, with acting? You don't have to take it so, so seriously. Mm -hmm. And, like, it can just be fun. Um, I mean, it's still a job, so, you know, it's still serious. But you don't have to be so, like, uptight about it. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find out about the Netflix I show? I was in my room, and my agent and manager and lawyer called me. <laughs> They're like, hey, so uh, you got this. And I was like, oh, my God, it's so cool. <laughs> my mom was screaming in my room oh, with me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you really like hiking, right? I used to. You used to. I don't interview. anymore because I I hate I can't do snakes, so mm -hmm. and I've had a few occurrences with them, so I'm kind of like over the whole yeah. hiking thing. Although I just went hiking in Malibu not too long ago, mm -hmm. but I just can't. Yeah. <laughs> How would you say you've grown as a person since you were younger? Ooh. <laughs> How have I grown as a person? I've definitely learned a lot. Yeah, I learned a lot about like myself and. The people around me, um, friends is a big one. Kind of learn who your actual friends are and who they're not. Um, that one's really hard to learn, though, is like who your real friends are. And I don't know, just the fact that like people are gonna let you down, but it's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> what would you say have been your biggest challenges so far? Biggest challenges so far? Realizing who your actual friends are and who's really there for you. Yeah. And who is, um, who's going to be there to support you 100%. Um, because you can invest a lot in somebody or in people and you can give them everything, but they could still let you down and you realize it's yeah. not the same amount that you're giving them. Mm -hmm. So that's one. that's been one of the harder ones lately that I've been going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about for acting? Just the fact that sometimes you're just not right for a role. Like, you mm. can go in and, like, oh, that felt so amazing. Like, I really feel good about this one. And you can get so close. And it's like, oh, they went with somebody blonde. Or they went with somebody, you know, that looks completely different as you. So, um, just, yeah, accepting that you're not right for a role, even though you feel like you are. What does success look like to you? What does success look like? Mm -hmm. uh, just being happy. That's it. Yeah. Yeah doesn't really mean it's a dollar sign or, a, or you know, a house that you live in. It's just more of if you're happy or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does love mean to you? Being endless and selfless. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. Last question. What do you want to be remembered for? Helping other people. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Bye.